Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create exit sign or exit light rivet family with 2D symbol. In this video, I will create two part of family, main family and 2D annotation family, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to rivet, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the metric electrical fixture and open it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 155 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for length. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 17.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for width. Keep type and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 6 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for W1. Keep type and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 230 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for height. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 58 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for H1. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for H1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for W1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner. And lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to body material. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Click on the material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the plastic. Replace glossy white material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Go to Manage and Material. Create a new material and rename it. And click Apply. Open Asset Browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the plastic. Replace LED green on material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Go to Modify and Paint. Click on the geometry surface that you want to paint. Go to Reference Level. Go to Create. Set a Work Plane. Pick up Work Plane and open Back View. Select Model Text and rename it. Place on Reference Plane. Select text and set 2 mm for depth. Select center for horizontal align. 
Go to edit and set 70 mm for text size. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Select model text and mirror to opposite side. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to back view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Select the geometry and set 2 mm extrusion end. Select the geometry and mirror to opposite side. Go to 3D view. Select the geometry and model text. Assign the material parameter to body material. Select model text. Assign visible parameter to single sign. Keep type and click OK. Select the left arrow sign geometry. Assign visible parameter to arrow left. Keep type and click OK. Select the right arrow sign geometry. Assign visible parameter to arrow right. Keep type and click OK. Select model text. Go to edit and on the text bold. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Go to create and select electrical connector. Set work plane and select the work plane. Check in 3D view. Select the connector and set the electrical load data in properties. Save the family. To create 2D symbol family. Open the new family. Go to annotation. Select metric generic annotation and open it. Delete the node. Go to create. Select the text and place on intersection point. And name it. Go to create and select line. Draw a rectangle. Insert dimension. Go manage and object style. Add a new annotation object and name it. Set 5 for line weight. Click apply and OK. Go to create and select line. Draw a line and move to center. Insert dimension. Go to create and select line. Draw another line and set 20 degrees angle. Select the line and mirror to opposite side.
Select the line and select subcategory. Mirror to opposite side and insert dimension. Select the line. Assign visible parameter to 2D double. Select instance and click OK. Select the lower left arrow. Assign visible parameter to 2D arrow single left. Select instance and click OK. Select the lower right arrow. Assign visible parameter to 2D arrow single right. Select instance and click OK. Select the upper left arrow. Assign visible parameter to 2D arrow double left. Select instance and click OK. Select the upper right arrow. Assign visible parameter to 2D arrow double right. Select instance and click OK. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to reference level. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag and drop the family to the reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign 2D arrow double left parameter to 2D arrow double left. Keep type and click OK. Assign 2D arrow double right parameter to 2D arrow double right. Keep type and click OK. Assign 2D arrow single left parameter to 2D arrow single left. Keep type and click OK. Assign 2D arrow single right parameter to 2D arrow single right. Keep type and click OK. Assign 2D double parameter to 2D double. Keep type and click OK. Go to family type. Create a new family type for single sign. Check and off visible parameter which are not in single family type. And click apply. Create a new family type for single sign left. Check and on off visible parameter which are not in single sign left family type. And click apply. Create a new family type for single sign right. Check and on off visible parameter which are not in single sign right family type. Create a new family type for double sign. Check and on off visible parameter which are not in double family type. And click apply. Create a new family type for double sign left. Check and on off visible parameter which are not in double sign left family type. And click apply. Create a new family type for double sign right. Check and on off visible parameter which are not in double sign right family type. And click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Go to system and select the lighting fixture. Place the exit sign to the ceiling level. Select the exit sign and select the family type for each family. Select the family and check in 3D view. Okay, 
exit sign or exit light family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.